Hello everyone, welcome to my new program club. Today we will be solving another daily week for challenge and the challenge name is find the duplicate number. So you are given an array of integers, nums, uh, that is containing n plus one integers, where each integer is in the range one to n, both one and n inclusive. Uh, there is only one repeated number in nums array. Uh, you have to return that repeated number. You must, uh, it is provided that you must solve this problem without modifying the uh, nums array and uh, you should use only post and extra space. So in order to solve this problem, uh, and uh, constraints are given as follows. Uh, so the size of the nums array will be of order 10 is to power five. And it's mentioned that only one integer is precisely, uh, precisely one integer is repeating and other integers are appearing only once. So to solve this problem, you will be using Floyd's cycle detection algorithm. I will be providing a link for an art, of an article describing Floyd's cycle detection algorithm, where uh, you can explore this article if you are new to this algorithm. It's also called uh, tortoise here and tortoise algorithm. Uh, what you will do is, first of all, uh, you will consider all the elements in the nums array as the indices of the array. This all will be considered the indices of the array. Indices of num array. Let's mark the indices of the array. 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So uh, this is the num array that will be given to you. And you have to return the repeating element. Actually, you will take two pointers, uh, fast and slow. It will be your fast pointer. This will be your slow pointer. Actually, both of them will be pointing to the zeroth index. Uh, and they are moving, uh, they will move in following manner. First, we will moving two positions ahead, which will be nums of nums of fast. And slow will be moving one position ahead at a time, which will be num so slow. So this is how they will be moving, and you will terminate your this will be in a loop. You will terminate your loop uh, when uh, the value of the fast and slow pointers becomes uh, equal again and it will show, uh, show you that a cycle is existing in the array if you consider the elements of the array as the indices of the array cycle exists now you need to find the uh, starting point of the cycle find the starting point of the cycle, uh, what you will do is, uh, let me quickly show you in the coding part. First of all, uh, you will detect the cycle uh, by moving fast pointers to positions in a single go and slow pointer in a uh, one position in a, uh, at a time. So you will break when slow and fast pointers become equal again. And after that, uh, to find the starting point of the cycle, you will place your slow pointer at the zeroth index and fast pointer will remain where it was in the previous loop uh, after the previous loop terminated. So slow, will, slow and fast both will be moving one positions at a time now, 
no end password in the new one position. And the loop will terminate as soon as the slow pointers become equal to fast. And you will return your uh, slow pointer or you can return your fast pointer also. It's completely up to you. So once you are done with it, uh, you will see that uh, they will, the starting point will be the repeating element of the num array. So now you will be able to solve this problem. It was uh, possible to apply this algorithm over this array because n plus 1 elements were present uh, from 1 to n and 1 was being repeated. This unique structure of your input array, it was possible to apply this fluid uh, cycle detection algorithm. So if you are still having any doubts in this algorithm, please feel free to ask them in the comment section. Uh, first of all, please uh, read this article if you are not familiar with this uh, algorithm. And the code will be available in Java and C++ both. So thank you for watching. Thanks.